What's, What's up, up YouTube? YouTube? It's Savannah and John back at it again with the, the Graphics, Graphics Card, Card Showdown. Showdown. This video is going to focus on three key metrics among 10 different graphics cards, performance, and 22 different games played at max settings in 1080p. You hear us talk about what cards are the best value and if it's really worth the extra money for that little bit more expensive video card. So we're going to show you the performance increase among our lineup of video cards, starting with a 750 Ti, going all the way up to a Titan X, comparing the percentage performance increase to the percentage price increase. So you can get a really good idea of what the sweet spot in the graphics card market is, and you can decide what GPU is best for you. We went with the benchmarks from techpowerup.com. They all use the same system specs, an Intel i7-4770K clocked at 4.2 gigahertz and an ASUS Maximus Z87 motherboard with 16 gigabytes of RAM. The only changing variable is a GPU throughout our whole list. So the gameplay benchmarks are all in 1080p because I know that's a really popular resolution for gaming. So here's a list of the 22 games. As you can see, it's everything from The Witcher 3, GTA 5 to World of Warcraft. So without further ado, let's begin. Up first, we have the 750Ti achieving an average of 37.74 FPS among these 22 games. At $110 for this video card, this means excluding the rest of the system, it's just $2.91 per FPS, making this card a great value. Now for $40 more dollars, or 36.36% increase in price, you can get AMD's R7 370, which achieves an average of 43.8 frames per second in the benchmarks. Now that's only a 16% increase in performance when compared to the 750Ti. Not really the best bang for the buck in this jump. We like lower price percentage increases and higher FPS or performance percentage increases. That said, the dollar per FPS ratio increased to $3.00 and 42 cents per frames per second for the R7 370. Now for just $10 more, you can get a GTX 950 for $160 with an average FPS of 51.9 in those 22 games at max settings. That's a 18.52% increase in FPS with only a 6.66% increase in price. This card packs a lot of value with a dollar per FPS of 3.08. Now, for $40 more, you can purchase the GTX 960 at $200, which achieved an average FPS of 60.45. That's a 16.47% increase in performance, with just a 25% increase in price. Not bad. That gives the 960 a dollar per FPS ratio of 3.31. The next card in the lineup is a GTX 970 at $330, so $130 or 65% increase in the price for an increase of performance of 54.06%, that's a nice bang for the buck. The GTX 970 achieved an average FPS of 93.13, making its dollar per FPS ratio 3.54. It's no wonder this is such a popular card for 1080p gaming. Up next, we have the R9 390X, 8GB video card for $100 more at $430. Not a great bang for the buck here as it achieved an average FPS of 95.97, just 3.05% more than the 970. But at a 30.3% increase in price, we are starting to notice a diminishing performance increase per dollar spent, as the R9390X has a dollar per average FPS ratio of 4.48. Up next, we have NVIDIA's GTX 980 at $500 with a performance increase of 7.72%, achieving an average of 103.37 frames per second for $70 or a 16.28% increase in price. The dollar per FPS ratio has increased even more, reaching 4.84. That's $4.84 per FPS, excluding the rest of the rig. Now, for $150 more, you can buy AMD's Fury X for $650. That's a 30% increase in price, but you'll only receive a 6.9% increase in performance given the Fury X achieved an average of 110.51 frames per second, giving it a dollar per FPS ratio of 5.88. Now for an equally priced 980 Ti, we found a 12.28% increase in performance. That's a free increase in FPS comparatively speaking as the 980 Ti achieved an average of 124.08 frames per second among the 22 selected games. This gives it a dollar per FPS ratio of 5.24, not bad for such a high-end card. 
And lastly, with the biggest increase in price of $350, we have the Titan X at $1,000, but it only received an increase in performance of 3.54%, averaging 128.47 frames per second, giving it the highest dollar per FPS ratio on our list at $7.78. That's a 53.85% increase in price for an average FPS increase of 3.54%. This concludes our list. We hope this makes your GPU purchase easier and highlights those sweet spots in the market and might sway you to make that jump up in graphics card or hold off and spend the extra money on other components that may be more beneficial to you. Thanks everyone for watching this edition of Savannah and John's Top 10. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or gained something from it. And comment if you have a comment. We truly appreciate your encouraging and thoughtful comments. As always, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until next time!